Good morning, folks. <clears throat> it is way too early in the morning on day 46, I think. Is it 46 or 47? Yes, it is 46. Day 46 at sea in quarantine. I mean, self-quarantine. It's not like we have any confirmed cases. But yes, it is day 46. It's insane. Haven't touched land in a month and a half now, really. But anyway, I decided for whatever reason yesterday that it was a fantastic idea to wake up this early in the morning to show you guys around the ship. You know, it amazes me that with such a limited staff, the food and beverage team can still manage to crank out incredible breakfasts and lunches and dinners. I mean, they've gotta be so overworked right now, and I feel so bad for them, but they do such amazing jobs with the limited resources that they have, so I tip my hat to you, my friends. I don't have silverware. <laughs> every single time, every single time. You know, guys, it's so easy to get caught up in all the stuff that we can't do because of this quarantine, you know? And we're all in this together, you know? Just today, I thought it would be really cool to focus on all of the stuff that we are able to do now and all the stuff that we have time to do now because of this quarantine situation. There's great bacon, by the way. I mean, sausage, bacon, eggs, pancakes, the food and beverage team are incredible right now. You would think that we're immune from panic buying here on the ship, but no. Literally just like a week ago when we were actually able to get supplies in Singapore, you know, they restocked the, uh, the crew market, you know, where we can buy like snacks and food and stuff like that. And like literally as soon as our contracts were cut, there was this giant panic buy. Everybody just went to the crew marketplace and they bought like $1,200 worth of snacks in the span of just a few hours. Panic buying is a real thing and it, it affects everyone. 36.5. 36.5. 36 36.5, what a coincidence. <laughs> so now, like, the entire crew market is totally sold out of noodles and most snacks and you know we're just gonna have to wait until next time when we can resupply and we don't really even know when that's gonna be hopefully we're gonna get more noodles in Busan but that's still like four days away so no instant noodles for Riley got a hundred bucks here Ooh. I'm Ooh. rich I'm a rich kid one rich girl but I can't use it on the ship until I put it in my sea poster okay how do we do that I'm so confused Cash is Oh, oh, it's gone forever. We just lost all that money. No. No? You just need to click finish. And how much money you got on your card now? $148. $148. I am not going to take so a rich. So yeah, the reason, the reason that we are depositing so much money on our card right now is that for the last day, the very last day, the, the shops upstairs have opened. They've said this is the last time that the shops are gonna be open until we return to normal operation. You know, it's gonna be a really big sale and a lot of people are supposed to be there and we need shampoo. Guys, look at how long this line is. There's so many people. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully we actually get inside and get some shampoo before it all gets bought up. But you know, we should be fine. <laughs> 
guys, it's so nice and refreshing to see everything like actually operating like it would be if guests were here. It's a breath of fresh air. It really is. We were gonna come up here and go for like a short swim, but they've drained the outdoor pool entirely. And you know, guys, this reminds me, with, with not having this pool here, it's like, it's so easy, especially in the times we live in now, these completely unprecedented times, the 24 seven news cycle that's constantly just bombarding us with new information about the coronavirus, the cases spiking all over the world. It's so easy to get wrapped up in that bad side of this. And you know, me especially, I know that I'm guilty of just focusing on the bad stuff. Like, I mean, you can see it in my last two videos. Like, I, I've gotten really frustrated about this situation that I'm in. And, you know, that is okay. It's totally okay to be frustrated, but at the same time, like over the past few days, I've been doing some soul searching and really thinking about this. And you know, there is actually some genuine good that can come out of these dark times that we're in right now. And I just wanted to kind of highlight that a little bit. The reason this outdoor pool is closed right now is because the weather's actually getting much colder. We're actually heading pretty far up north to South Korea. And up here, you know, it's still April. It's still chilly outside. So we came out here to the outdoor pool and we were kind of bummed out. But, you know, have a look in here. All the pools and hot tubs that were originally drained out and closed down here inside, they filled everything back up here inside. So we've still got a nice, warm, comfortable place to hang out and swim. And, you know, it's not all bad. So guys, my challenge to myself right now, and my challenge to you guys back home, is really, you know, I'm gonna take some time off from the, the crazy news cycle of negativity and just try to focus on some of the good. And you know, my situation is honestly very different from a lot of you guys watching this video back home. And you know, while many of us have all lost our jobs and we're not getting paid anymore, at least I still have you know, free food, I've got a free place to stay, the company is, is covering all of our costs of living, all of our room and board, you know, everything is taken care of as far as my basic needs are concerned. You know, something else I've realized is I'm probably in one of the safest places I could be right now in terms of staying away from the coronavirus. I genuinely don't have to worry about my health, or anything, I know that we've got a fully staffed medical team on board, and that's honestly a huge burden that I don't have to bear because I'm here in this safe, quarantined environment in the middle of the ocean, and we just don't have to worry about that. And, you know, another thing is we've actually got plenty of recreational stuff to do that a lot of people on land don't have right now. You know, we've got friends, we've got a community of people we can still socialize, we can go out for a drink at the bar, We've got a pool, we've got a gym, we've got hot tubs, we've got places to exercise. And you know, I'm actually, I'm really fortunate to be able to go outside and get sunlight and fresh air. And a lot of people are just stuck in their homes right now, unable to go outside unless it's absolutely necessary to buy like groceries or food or, you know, absolute essentials. There's so much stuff in my life right now that I don't have to worry about that people all over the world right now are struggling with and that's something I've realized that I need to be really thankful and grateful for. Guys can I also just add that if we were cruising regularly I would never ever 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 under any circumstances be allowed in these hot tubs so you know that's another perk you know there's no guests here and we can 
we can still live it up on the ship as much as we want within the extent of what's open. All right, guys, we gotta go pick up our laundry real quick. And you know, we've all got struggles right now. Like worldwide, we all have our own struggles that we're dealing with. And some people are more fortunate than others. The world is not a fair or equal place. And while a lot of us are just, you know, struggling to keep ourselves engaged mentally and fighting off boredom, there are other people that have lost their jobs and are struggling to feed their kids and struggling to eat and struggling to get proper medical care and maybe even get tested for the virus. So, you know, it's just important to keep that in mind. Keep things in perspective, you know? Most of us are pretty fortunate to be in a situation where we've got a roof over our heads and food to eat. And while we might not be able to, you know, go outside to our favorite restaurants or go to the movies anymore, the vast majority of us are still alive and healthy and safe. And in reality, there are some people who don't have those basic needs met right now because of both the economic crisis that's been brought on by COVID-19, but also the virus itself. So that's why, guys, with this whole stimulus package that the government has recently unveiled, where they're gonna be sending, I think it's like $1,200 to every American citizen that fits inside a certain income bracket. I'm probably gonna be getting one of those checks. But personally, I don't need that money. You know, I've got savings, I've, I'm well taken care of. So, you know, there are certain people in this world that could definitely use that money much more than I could. So that's why, you know, if this stimulus package ever gets passed and signed into law and these checks start getting mailed out, I'm personally going to be donating half of that check to Doctors Without Borders to support the effort of fighting COVID-19 around the world. And the other half of that check I'm going to donate to Feeding America, which is a charity that supports food banks all across America to make sure they're fully stocked and able to give people food that aren't fortunate enough to have it in their homes already. So, you know, guys, obviously stay positive, but be grateful for the situation that we're in right now. The vast majority of us are still safe at home with the people we love. And while obviously it's boring and it's a big sacrifice to make to just hit the pause button on our lives for weeks and maybe even months on end, that's a sacrifice that we need to make right now to prevent the spread of this virus. So guys, I think what I'm trying to say is we all just should be grateful for what we have. I'm in a very fortunate situation compared to many other people around the globe right now. And I imagine a lot of the people watching this video are in fortunate situations too. And you just need to look around and realize that we've got a lot of time right now to spend on things that we care about. folks that's it for me tonight we just had a really fun little video game session good times were had by all don't forget you know stay positive throughout this whole thing we're, go we're all gonna get through this it might take some time but humanity will prevail I said it in my first video and I'll say it again we are going to be okay I love you all and I will see you in the next video. I'm so excited, like I'm getting views now. Last time I checked, 
my latest video had 1400 views on it which is insane thank you so much for everybody that's been watching and subscribing and doing your thing it's fantastic and it makes me feel amazing and yeah welcome welcome I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.